This week is um, Prescription Opioid and Heroin Epidemic Awareness Week, and the Association of County Commissioners is encouraging all counties to hold forums to talk about the issue. WNCT's Courtney Allen checked in with one county here in the East about what it means to their community. My baby, Ryan, and his girlfriend, Sarah, maybe something good will come from our loss of them. Somebody else will be saved. Luana Gibbs, the interim health director of Hyde County, is still grieving the loss of her 23-year-old son in June. My son and his girlfriend passed away as a result of an overdose. Two weeks after his death, Hyde County formed a task force of the health department, manager's office, sheriff's office, and more to combat the opioid epidemic. Our forces have quite a dilemma of trying to remove these opiates. We certainly do need the cooperation from the community. They say the goal is prevention and education and are spending the next month holding public forums to find the best way to eradicate the issue. We can get feedback from our constituents in regard to what they think they need to see and what they'd like to see and their ideas to help. We'll come back to the drawing board with all that public feedback and we'll come up with a plan of action. Gibbs says drug abuse can happen to anyone and hopes her son's story will motivate people to come together with the task force and take back their community. If we all stand together and continually work towards this, you know, maybe things will change and maybe there won't be another parent to have to face this. And that was Courtney Allen reporting. They are going to have community meetings in each of the five major towns in the next month. They started at Inglehart last night. Swan Quarter, Fairfield, Ponzer, and Ocracoke are next in the coming weeks. You can call or email the Hyde County Office to get involved.